extra points for extra pay. Parlay FanDuel boosts us. They give us an extra point for each of our bets. They boost the odds on the parlay itself. We've won three of these. We've cost our boss FanDuel $2.3 million, but we're not going to stop there. We want to get to $100 million, and we're going to do that by going three for three this week. Charlotte, start us off. Folks, I am sticking with your Chicago Bears. Um, the Bears are plus seven and a half over the Rams. And I just have a good feeling about the Bears. I, you know, I think they're going to keep it close. The Bears are five and one. Rams are four and two. The Bears have won all three road games this season. They've won six of their last eight games against the Rams. Jared Goff is one and one in his career against the Bears. And he's thrown five interceptions against them. And... I mean, if you think about the Bears' defense right now, Khalil Mack has three sacks over his last two games. He's four and a half sacks this season. I just think, I I don't think this is going to be the game the Bears lose. I think they're going to lose soon, but I don't think it's going to be to the Rams, and I feel good enough that I am going to let this be one of the linchpins in our amazing Mm. parlay this week. I like that too. I think that is a good bet. We're crossing a good line there. We're getting an extra point, so the Bears getting seven and a half. The one thing is, it's a Monday game. I didn't. Even, I forgot it was a Monday game. So if Dave and I do our job, that builds a lot of drama for the third leg of this parlay. But we got to get there first, Dave. What's the pick of the week? What's important about the Packers and the Texans is I can give you a bunch of numbers about why Aaron Rodgers, who rarely throws two picks or throws one pick a game, let alone two picks in a game, bounces back strong in the ensuing weekend. The more important factor, as far as I'm concerned, practically, is that the Texans cannot stop the run. In fact, they are the worst in all of pro football behind some of the Jets. I mean, if you're worse than the Jets or some of these other teams at anything in pro football, you should be ashamed of yourselves. The Texans are the worst run defense. They happen to be facing Aaron Jones and company. If you haven't been paying attention, they're a run-heavy team, the Packers. I think they get trucked by Aaron Jones and company. Um, I say Packers down in Houston now minus two and a half. I feel like this is too easy. Either way, Sonny Corleone um, laying on the causeway represents J.J. Watt and company by game's end. I love it. Spoiler alert. Again, we're taking uh, taking full advantage of the crossing a key number here. Packers win by a field goal. We're good in real life. No good because they're giving like four points or three and a half with us. Extra points for extra pay parlay. Green Bay minus two and a half takes it to my pick Saints over the Panthers they've won six of their last seven against Carolina I think they take control of this division not enough offense from Teddy two gloves Bridgewater coming back to the big easy I get it it's a big game Carolina 21st in the league against the run I think Alvin Kamara goes crazy on the defensive side Javaris Jenkins 20 tackles in the last three games this is a 30 to 19 final we're giving six and a half. Again, Vandal moving the line from seven and a half to six and a half for us. If it jumps and lands on that seven point margin, we're a winner. So Green Bay minus two and a half. That's Dave. Chicago plus seven and a half. That's Charlotte. The Saints minus six and a half. That's me. Plus 390 normally. FanDuel is boosting this to plus 450. Yes, that's a winner. Jump on it. Our fourth winner in seven weeks. Do it.